Hey, Jeff here. I'm going to review Slide It for the Android. It is a keyboard replacement app uh, that works with the swipe technology. It's not swipe itself. It may in fact just be a ripoff. But uh, unlike swipe, you don't have to sign up for the beta. It's already in the Android market. You can get it now. There is a demo. Uh, it's a free demo. Um, and there is the full app, which costs €5.99, which comes out to about $9.00. US dollars. Uh, maybe a little bit more depending on the exchange rate. Let's see. I'll go ahead and send out a Twitter here. See, it pops up just like the normal keyboard. Uh, it looks very similar to the normal keyboard, and you can type on this like a normal keyboard if you need to. Uh, we'll get we'll, I'll get more in that, into that later. Um, just the basic layout here. There's no skins for it, and the basic one here, the standard one that it comes with, is very ugly. Uh, something about the, these outside letterings just doesn't look very good. But that's e easily overlooked when you see how well the app works. See, I'm going to send out the, uh, the Twitter. Um, I'm using Slide It to type this. Let's see. And you see, just slide it across and it accurately figures out what you're trying to do. Let's see. Um, you see, if you saw that, I slid my finger across the screen to write, slide it, but I wasn't accurate. You know, I'm not, I'm not normally using it like this, and so I thought I meant elderly. But right here is the best guess bar, as I call it, and right there, slide it as I intended. I click on that, and it puts that in there, and then we just move on by hitting the space bar, or you could start typing the next word because I have auto space turned on. Let's see. Now, I find this works quite a bit better than the standard keyboard. I had a lot of trouble with the uh, the standard Android keyboard, even better keyboard app. That didn't work very well for me. This has been, it's just been a lot of fun to use. I, I definitely approve it. Now, there are some issues. I think if you uh, aren't a good speller, and I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't good spellers. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of smart people who can't spell. Uh this my app might not be for you because um, let's think uh, like, like t tomorrow a lot of people smell spell tomorrow with an A now if you try to do that it's just it's not gonna know what you're trying to spell now you know if you have that issue you can just tap it in there and have it be spelled wrong Now, I mean, that's wrong, and it's not giving you the correct spelling. Um, so that's an issue for some people. So if you're a bad speller, this is going to be uh, an issue for you, and I would probably uh, probably avoid the app, because it's going to just cause you a lot of headaches. Um, however, you know, if you're pretty accurate on here, uh, you're going to find this is pretty useful. Um, now, if you're wondering how this works, it really is quite like magic. Um, you know, you're going to have to get used to the fact that it's not always going to know what you're trying to do. Let's see. Uh, you're trying to write the word or. O-R. We well, have to swipe over and or and R, O-U-R, are both on that same path. So you're going to have to realize you're never going to get O-U-R to pop up first. You have to click like that which isn't a huge issue because it's still a very fast thing. You just have to kind of keep in mind and keep your eye on the, the best guess bar. Another neat feature is the ability to add proper names. For example, let's say you have a pet name, um, I don't know, Cervantes. Let's see. You try Cervantes by swiping, you're going to get the question marks. Now, all you have to do is one time put in the name. See there, now it says press the plus sign to add Cervantes. I just effed it up, but all you do is click there again. Comes right back. You hit the plus sign. 
Now, if this weren't the demo version, it would have added that to the dictionary. And then from now on, whenever I would swipe over it, Cervantes would come up. I've already done this with my username, Jeff Grubb, for many sites, so I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Now, normally this wouldn't have worked, but I've already added it to the dictionary. Well, we've broken up Cervantes into Jeff Grubb, but you get the idea. It pops up, and it works very well. Um, a few other issues when you're writing in passwords. It can be kind of a hassle because it always wants to start with a capital letter, and my passwords don't start with a capital letter. Um, you know, if you have special characters, you're going to be going over the special characters a lot, and that kind of breaks the flow. Um, you can try using this graffiti where you would draw the special characters. Two, and there was a two. I'm trying to do a question mark, and that's just that almost never works. So the graffiti is kind of useless, if kind of a neat idea. Um, and again, it's just sort of ugly to look at, but it works very well. Uh, I'm not going to be using any other keyboard. The only other keyboard I might use is Swipe, if uh, it improves on this at all. I, I'm not in the beta, and I'll give that a try once I am. But uh, see, there you have it. It's uh, Slide It for Android. It should work on any version of Android. Uh, again, I'm using it with the My Touch, and I haven't had any issues so far. So uh, go ahead and check it on the Android App Store. That's uh, €5.99.